Okay, coming in from Amazon is the Pro Breeze Mini Ceramic Space Heater. So with the uh, with the impending doom of the country um, being thrown into very cold weather, I've decided to have a look at a little electronic based or electrical based space heater. If you plug this into the mains and it'll heat your room quite quickly, provided it's not like a, a Royal Albert Hall or something like that. Uh, and it costs about £35 and it comes in both black and white. I went with black because I liked the black look of it. £35, you think, oh, it's probably going to be really, really nasty on your heating bills, but I'm going to take the hit and see what this does. Uh, rather than turning on the gas in a room, I'm going to be using the electricity and using this to try and heat the room in its place whenever the wife gets a bit cold, because that's my main concern this winter. Not anyone else, just the wife getting cold. So, um, inside, I've already taken the liberty to open it up. We have on the top, there is a warranty, register your warranty type card thing. Uh, I was going to a website. And we have the Pro Breeze instruction manual uh, with lots and lots of do's and don'ts. If you've lost yours, there you go. Uh, there is the specification and parts and control panel, operating instructions as well. So with our fan only mode, it just blows air around pointlessly. Uh, low heat is 900 watts, medium heat is 1300 watts, and high heat is 2000 watts. There's overheat protection as well, and tip over protection, which we'll have a quick look at. It's dead simple. Uh, over there, it's cl cleaning and maintaining stuff because obviously dust can catch fire and things. So you need to make sure that you store it correctly. Okay, and the unit itself. Okay, so this is all sort of cased plastic. It's it's okay, it's fine, it's fairly strong plastic. Um, I wouldn't drop it too many times, but you know, it, it works. And that's obviously metal alloy of some type, painted black. And around the back here we have this fan that uh, sucks in air, and then there's some ceramic heated discs in behind there that heat up and that will blow the air through. Uh, on the top we have minimum and maximum, uh, fairly decent controls, sound fairly chunky, there seems to be a, a notification light there to let you know that it's on. I suppose if they're hearing impaired they might not be able to hear it blowing. And then a do not, it's probably cover or something like that, do not put paper on it or something, who knows, or do not set on paper, that would be useful. Uh, there's a, a cable. It's a little more than two meters long. On the bottom here, there is the auto switch off so that if you knock it over, it'll automatically switch off so, so it doesn't end up like that and burn your house down. There's a wee handle at the back there for picking it up so you don't have to pick it up by anywhere else. It's not the easiest handle to use and it could quite easily slip. Uh, you can see that it's, it's kind of flush so there's no actual grippy part for you to get a good grip on it. Um, if you are picking it up and it's still plugged in or you step on the cable, you could pull it away from your hand. So that's not great. I would prefer just a, a lip to come down to give you just that little bit extra of grip or perhaps even just a handle across there. That would be nice. So we'll plug her in and see what happens. Okay, so there it is plugged in. Obviously we need to turn it on. quite loud. Obviously that's just fan mode. We have it on max. And if we just feels like fairly cool air pushing through and we turn it to one, still noisy. And there's some hot air coming through now. Feel a bit of a cool air here, but it is warm over here. So maybe one just uh, uses one element over this side and two and three are over here possibly. 
Yeah, I'm starting to feel the warmer air coming out. And there's that nice kind of factory warmth smell coming out. And then turning it up to three. Oh, <laughs> it's hot. I'm going to melt my camera, actually. <laughs> and we'll turn it off for now, because that's probably added more to my electricity bill than I've put on it in the last week. But that's the one thing that I'm hoping is different here, in that this will be a bit cheaper on the electricity. Now, I do have an electricity tester kit in the house that I'm going to hook this up to and see how many units that it seems to be using. Yeah, this is hot after that little initial blue, uh, but the plastic at the side is cool. So uh, yeah, we'll have to get it in and have a look and see how well it does. Okay, so we've had this in the house for about two weeks and I've been using this to monitor the energy. I haven't been completely successful because every time I try to record readings on this, I find out that my wife has maybe gone and used it for 20 minutes or something like that. However, in the, the, the figures that I've been able to co collate together, I reckon that this does cost about 1p a minute, which might seem like quite a lot initially, because it, it all adds up over the course of the month. If you were to use it five, five minutes every day to heat a small room, then yes, uh, five threes or 15 so that's 1.50 a month but given the amount you have to take into account the amount of heat that this gives off and I will say that I've been using this in a relatively large room much larger than I should have been using this in I used it in a very small room um twice and it heated that room within about three minutes uh, it was it was at a good temperature, a relatively small boxy room, uh, but my my main living room, which is pretty large, uh, never felt fully warmed warmed by this. I could raise the temperature a little bit, but I'd have to leave it running for about twenty minutes in order for a very large room. Apologies for the voiceover and the cut in, but I want to try and reiterate this slightly better than I did in the original video. This is a 2000 watt heater, which means it's taking 2000 watts of energy and turning it into heat. And due to convection, that will fill your room, essentially, uh, because energy expands, heat expands. Uh, getting a larger, bigger one than this, that is still 2000 watts, is going to be just as effective as this little unit here. The only thing about the price difference would be that this is a smaller unit and doesn't have certain things like uh, like a proper thermostat to be able to set a particular temperature, oscillation, you know, rotation and things like that, and other luxury features that you would find in more expensive models. Um, but I will say that there are some real problems, and this is a big problem. I dropped it the, the, the day that I did the first part of this unboxing. I took it down to show it to my wife. And it slipped out of my hand when I was standing in her office showing it to her. It landed on a rug and it was fine. But still that shouldn't have happened. So you do have to kind of carry it like that with your thumb here and your fingers in there. I never got this to really uh, kick in. Um, I just lifted it and it stopped heating. It, I, I can show you that now. Got that on max, got that on three, and for the purposes of it, <laughs> that's about how loud it is. It doesn't really help, it doesn't really paint much of a picture. It's not the loudest in the world, but it's still loud enough that this fan does make a, a decent amount of sound. But if you lift it, dead simple. The only concern is maybe forgetting to turn it off if you if you go out. Um, the, the light certainly helps, but the sound of it helps even more. So, yes, this is relatively cheap heat. Um, if you've got a small room that needs a, a real quick boost, then this works. And if you've got good insulation, then obviously the heat should stay. So I'm, I'm pleased with it. I am. I think it's worth the money if you could have a couple of these dotted around your house. But be warned, if you do, 
you're going to end up with a pretty high power bill, especially if you've got kids or family members who don't really respect it that much and just think, oh, I'll turn that on and leave it on. And it's tiny and easy to store. So yeah, I'd, I'd say this is the, it's a worthwhile investment. I've got another one as well that I'm, I'm going to have a, a look at next. And unless you have any other questions, which you can hit me up with down in the comments box down below, you could hit the subscribe button. You could turn on them there notifications. You can give us a wee thumbs up if you fancy. And other than that, take care.